just about to go and do a run and deliver a gift for a woman called Sharon, who is a breast cancer survivor. Hello. Sharon, hello. hello. How are you? Hi. I'm Victoria. Hi. Lovely to meet you. And you too. How are you doing? How was the run? Oh God, harder than I thought. <laughs> But God. Amazing. So we are here on behalf of Cancer Research UK and we've got some gifts for you and for your little boy and for your little girl because you've had a hard time and God, it's the least you deserve. Oh, look. <laughs> That's pretty. It looks like a dress. That's lovely. Can you jive in those? Yes, you can. can you? Yes, yes, I can. Good. <laughs> when did you finish treatment? So I finished on the 17th of October. It was my last radiotherapy. I cannot imagine discovering that I had cancer when I was pregnant. Mm -hmm. I was 14 weeks pregnant when I found the lump. I didn't for one second think it was cancer. The biggest fear through the whole thing with Thomas was the anaesthetic right. during surgery. But I actually had chemotherapy in the morning and Thomas in the afternoon. Oh my yes. gosh, you're kidding me. No. Well, he came out with more hair than me. <laughs> but that doesn't <laughs> surprise me. We're very, very happy. We're very lucky. And we oh. do call him our miracle baby. Do you? Yeah, we do. Then... Recovering from chemo, recovering from a caesarean, and having a newborn baby. And then going back onto chemo. Oh my gosh. Yeah. The most traumatic thing would be again losing the hair. Yeah. I wore my wig the whole time. Did you? Did you wear yours the whole time? I mean, apart from in the house. Yeah. Pretty much, yeah. Yeah. We were very scared at some points. Yeah. We were very happy at the points, you know. Yeah. And we just plodded on. You've got to, haven't you? Um, you haven't yes. got a choice. Yeah. How about yourself? Sometimes I can't believe it happened. Mm -hmm. Most of the time, it's almost a distant memory. Not all, you know, not yes. all the time, obviously. I've got different hair and all that, you know. Which, by the way, is lovely. Oh, bless you. Thank you. And I just want to be with my family and friends and just have a really nice time yes. for the rest of my life. Oh, it makes me want to cry. That's a massive achievement, though. I mean, you go through all that and then you have a baby. It's so nice. She has got the most incredible story. She's one of the most stoical women I have ever met in my life. I cannot imagine how difficult it must be to discover that you have cancer when you're pregnant. She did it, she's through it, she is amazing. <laughs>